A few designs in Transformers Rise of the Beast have been pretty controversial, with the biggest one being Wheeljack, but the actual figure is pretty good. Now, I'll talk about my actual issues with the design of the character when we get into robot mode, but taking a look at vehicle mode first, because that's how I have him transformed my desk right now, it looks pretty good. Now, in my personal opinion, I feel like the alt modes on the mainline Rise of the Beast figures haven't really been the best, but this one's definitely my favorite. It's still kind of a weird choice to make Wheeljack turn into a van. The sculpt looks really great and really looks like a van. I know it's crazy. A transformer figure that turns into a car actually looks like the car. There's a lot of small details throughout the entire thing. And yeah, you can see some joints here and there, but it doesn't really ruin it for me. There are two holes up top where you can store his weapon and take a look at the paint. It's actually pretty good. The detail here is really nice and there's not a lot of paint errors. My favorite part is definitely the front because it has the most amount of detail and it looks so good with the blue and the silver and the Autobot logo looks pretty good. On the side, we got the nice weathering of the TV Pablo writing there, which looks really good. And the back looks fine. But yeah, overall, the alt mode looks pretty good. <laughs> My biggest issue with this alt mode is actually transforming him. It's kind of scary to transform him, in my opinion, especially with getting the feet up here. It's just kind of scary to do. And I feel like something might break. So far, nothing broke, which is great. But I feel like I should mention that because something that might actually happen in the future, but we don't know. Taking a look at the robot mode for Wheeljack. And this figure is actually great. I really like this figure. Like, no joke. I think this figure is amazing. I do have some issues with him, starting with the head. That's not Will Jack's head. Pablo. Now, I know this is accurate to the movie, but I don't like it in the movie, so I don't like it here. They had the perfect design with the Bumblebee movie, and they somehow messed it up. Now, I know everyone's been saying that, but it's true. This is not Will Jack's head. Now, I will say the design of this head looks pretty good, but it's just not Will Jack's head. The sculpt on this figure is honestly amazing. I love the way this figure looks. The amount of detail throughout this entire figure is really good, and there's barely any kibble throughout the entire figure. His backpack is so good. You also can make a butt. So yeah, you can do that. But overall, he just looks great. And the paint is also good, but unfortunately, there's a lot of paint chipping on this figure, especially at the head. His head has so much paint chipping. I'm not sure it's because of the transformation. But yeah, that just sucks. But you could just say it's battle damage call today. But or not, the paint is also pretty good. But what's weird is that they painted the top of his hands, but not the rest of his hands. I, I don't get why they did that, but they did that. For accessories, he does come with this tiny gun here, which I really like. But it's really small compared to the Studio Series one, which is what he had in the Bumblebee movie. I don't know what happened in between movies, but somehow it got smaller. And the articulation on this figure is honestly amazing. There's so much here that it's surprising that we have this much on a mainline figure. And like he even has butterfly joints, which is something completely unexpected. Now, obviously, it's for transformation, but it, it technically counts. I'm counting it here. comparison everyone wants to see is between this wheeljack and studio series bumblebee movie wheeljack and obviously the bumblebee movie one is better but this one's also really good for the design as well as the articulation it's just great yeah i know i said the design i really like this design i just wish the head was better but overall i do highly recommend you get this figure now i personally got this figure through a target three pack that included a mainline cheetor as well as a mainline nightbird which i'll review each of those figures and yeah overall i highly recommend you get this figure